question that we often encounter is if there is a God, why is there so much pain in the world? Why is there so much suffering in the world? The question should be, if there is a God, what is he going to do about it? When you come to the Bible, the Bible never denies the pain that exists in the world. Rather, it acknowledges it. It says in Romans chapter 8, we know that the whole creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. It means all of creation, every all of creation and everything that entails it has been groaning as though in childbirth, as a woman would groan in pain. All of creation is groaning in pain. So the Bible does not deny the pain that we go through, rather it acknowledges it. But the question should be, if that, that is true, if there is a God, what is he going to do about it? And we see in the scriptures, for in this hope we are saved. What is this hope? The hope is that one day, because there is a God who loves his creation so dearly, which has been marred by the sin of humanity, he's coming to remake all things. He's coming to renew all things. He's coming to recreate all things. And the scripture says that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. He is going to remake all things. He's going to redo all things. He's going to recreate all things. That's the hope we live in. That one day, no matter what, what is happening today, when we believe in him, he's making all things new. And that's what we're looking forward to.